Hi, I'm John Perkins. And I'm Craig Bell. Happy Father's Day, John. Happy Father's Day. It's hard to believe it's that time again. I know it. In April of 2011, a line of deadly tornadoes ripped across the state of Alabama, leaving 250 people dead in its wake. Near Wellington, Alabama, the Hardy family realized the storm was coming, but too late to find a permanent shelter. They considered trying to take shelter in a metal clubhouse, but it had already been turned on its side by strong winds. In desperation, they took shelter in a small stand of trees. They tied a rope around the children and around them in the trees as the storm passed. A family member said that while they had been scratched by flying dirt and debris, no one suffered serious injuries. Can you imagine how tightly you would hold on to those kids in those trees if a storm was blowing through? Terrifying, terrifying moment. (laughs) Yeah. And as parents, as dads, I mean, we are, we're all about trying to find a safe place for our kids, right? Yes. And today, John, there's a storm blowing through society. And really, there's only one safe place for us to lead our children to. Yeah. And like Psalm 61 verse 2 says, lead me to the rock that is higher than I, for thou hast been a shelter for me and a strong tower from the enemy. God's truly the only place to lead our children to if we're going to find safety in this storm of life we're in. It seems like, Brother Craig, no matter who you are, or no matter uh, what religion you are, or what country you're from, or anything, as a father, your number one concern in life is to, to protect your children. Yes. And, you know, even among the world, I mean, not just people of faith, but they're trying to find a, a place of safety for their kids, like, you know, go to college, get a good yeah. job. Financial security. Yeah, wants the best for your children. Sure, yeah. I mean, you know, it's just a, wanting them to be safe financially or even in a relationship. You know, find the right person. You know, be safe. Jesus said one time, you being evil know how to give good gifts to your children. So he's even comparing a father or a mother knows how to give good things to their children. But you know what's so sad, John, is that uh, there's many people who would push their children to safe places financially and in relationships, but yet in spiritual things... They leave them out to the wolves, yeah. you know, and the storm's raging right now. We need a safety of the rock. That's Christ in our lives. That's the only sure place to build. The wise man built his house upon the rock. Yeah. The foolish man built it on the sand. Yeah. Then the difference was when the floods came and the rain fell, that the house collapsed on the yeah. sand, but the rock that house stood is a safe place. Yeah. And you think about, Brother Craig, the, the world not having this shelter for their children But the more and more that I'm around church people and I'm around different churches, I see even church fathers and mothers that's that's taking their children and they're kind of pushing them towards the world saying, you need to be more like them. And what what they're doing, they don't realize it, but what they're doing, they're getting their children in harm's way. Sure. And the Bible teaches us as parents not to provoke our children to wrath, but it's interesting because it also has the other concept in the family, children honor your parents. Yeah. So the Bible has a lot to say on both spectrums of the family, from the parent to the children, honoring your mother and father. Yeah. You think about Moses when he got the commandments. You know, he they had all these big laws about don't kill, don't steal, don't don't commit adultery, all these big things. And right in the middle of that, he says, honor thy father and mother. So it's important. God has everything set up in the family the way it's supposed to be. The husband is head of the wife and children obeying their parents and parents not provoking uh, your children. So God has everything set up. Yes. Interesting on the commandment, honor your father and mother. I mean, even in the New Testament, Ephesians 6, verse 2, 1 and 2, says, Children, obey your parents in the Lord, for this is right. Honor thy father and thy mother, which is the first commandment, with promise that it may be well with thee, and that thou mayest live long on the earth. You know, I was taught that verse when I was growing up, because when I dishonored my parents, it it wasn't well with me. (laughs) Yeah. It's talking about Exodus chapter 20 when he's reading off what we know as the Ten Commandments in verse 12. It says, Honor thy father and thy mother that thy days may be long upon the land which the Lord thy God giveth thee. You know, parenting is one of the most challenging jobs, John. And in this day and age we live in, it's even getting more challenging. But our advice to you today, friends, would be get those kids to safety spiritually to the rock, the one place we can hide in the middle of the storm, Christ. That's the only sure place to get your kids to. Amen.